morning and welcome to the vlog. We're starting off the new year with a big giveaway. I've been using this 32 inch productivity monitor from BenQ and it's been really great. My favorite thing about this monitor is the eye care features. You can quickly switch between modes to reduce blue light and brightness and there's even a dedicated coding mode that makes it super easy to read and write code. And it even has built in speakers which is a big plus for me. If I was only coding and consuming content I would 100% keep this monitor but as a content creator I really need 4k. I will be giving away this monitor to one of my viewers as part of my first ever YouTube giveaway so if you're interested in winning stay tuned because I'll be sharing all the details and specifics that you need to know later on in the video. My new monitor is the Samsung MAOC. It's the 2023 updated model and it's actually very similar to my previous monitor. It's also 32 inches, also white, and it also has built-in speakers. Most importantly though, it has 4K resolution. I've been keeping an eye on this monitor for a while, so I'm glad I caught it on sale. It's normally $7.99 and I got it for around 40% off. Another feature that I like about this monitor is that it has embedded TV apps like Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, etc. And this will be useful when I'm using my desk treadmill and I just wanna like consume content. I can only give my first impressions because I've only just unboxed it. So far it looks really good. I like how it matches my desk aesthetic. I'll be giving a more thorough review in my 2024 desk setup video, which is gonna be coming out in February. I'm just waiting for a few more pieces to complete my desk setup. Last few days I've been researching, playing around with, and experimenting with generative AI and I know kind of late to the party but better late than never. Because it has been rainy, I found myself listening to a lot of lo-fi music on YouTube and a lot of the playlists have like these animated characters. You've probably seen like lo-fi hip-hop girl at least and I've really been inspired to make an animation of myself as the character. So I figured that generative AI would be a good way to get started with that. The only problem is that I don't know how to use generative AI. <laughs> I've never played around with it before. So like any sane person would do, I read a bunch of discussion forums on which is the best tools to use. I read through all the API documentation and I finally created a design doc outlaying all the technical details of how I would get started with this project. Just kidding, I just googled how to turn yourself into a cartoon using Gen AI and I did this because I just wanted to find the quickest way to get started. So far, I've turned myself into a Funko Pop, a Lego, a Pokemon character, and an anime character. Using these image generation tools are cool but at the same time it's also like when am I ever really going to use these pictures other than maybe changing my profile picture somewhere. So that's why I wanted to build something useful like this lo-fi animation because at least I can use it on my channel or like in the background of my videos or something. Anyways, this is how it turned out. This was a really fun project to make and I wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of today's sponsor, Codecademy. Codecademy is an online coding platform for all people no matter where they are in their coding journey. I'm a full-time software engineer and I enrolled in Codecademy's Intro to Generative AI and Intro to ChatGPT courses and honestly they're really great. First of all, they are completely free courses and I highly recommend you check them out because it gives you a really good overview of what Generative AI is, how it works, and what they can be used for. There's been a lot of talk and hype around Generative AI, especially over the past year. A lot of cool products and projects have been announced and so I'm finally glad that I made time to learn more about it. Codecademy believes that learning by doing is the best way to learn and I 100% agree. Let me show you what I like about the platform. You can see on my dashboard that I have completed the two courses, Intro to Generative AI and Intro to ChatGPT. I've been exploring the machine learning and AI engineer career path and one of my favorite parts of the platform is definitely the interactive editor. Imagine having your course content, code editor, and output seamlessly integrated into your browser. It's honestly so nice not having to worry about setting up a development workflow because this way you can spend your time and energy focusing on what matters, which is learning the material. If you get stuck, Codecademy gives feedback to help learners discover their solution and they even supplement with video tutorials when more assistance is needed. Whether you're a seasoned coder or you're just starting, Codecademy has tailored paths for everyone and you can learn at your own pace. For the first 300 people to sign up using my link in the description, you'll get one month of Codecademy Pro completely for free. Honestly, it's really worth a try. I truly believe that people make time for what they value, so if you're watching this video, just know that I'm rooting for you. And if you do sign up, please keep me updated. I read and reply to all of my comments Thank you again to Codecademy for sponsoring this video. So I'm not really a tutorial channel, but I wanted to share very quickly on how I made this in case you wanted to make it for yourself. There's a lot of tools you can use to generate images, but I decided to go with Midjourney because they allow you to upload a reference images that you can use. They do offer something like a free trial, but whenever I tried to use it, they said the system was full. And so I just ended up paying, I think, $10 for a month subscription. I thought it would be really easy if I just had a picture of myself and then I 
asked Midjourney to turn myself into a cartoon, but I quickly learned that that isn't the case. You have to be very specific with your prompt on what you want it to generate. In hindsight, that makes a lot of sense, especially like thinking logically as a programmer. You want to tell the computer what you want it to do. Otherwise, like you'll have unknown side effects. I would say that generating the image is probably the hardest part of this whole project for me, just because it was the thing I had the least experience in and everything else, which is gonna be like using Photoshop and Final Cut Pro for video editing is a lot easier and simpler. So again, I'm just gonna be rushing at a high level overview of what I did. But let me know if you want a full tutorial, I'd be happy to do that as well, just because this has been kind of fun. Once I had a picture that I liked, I took it into Photoshop and I created a large canvas so I could have a 4K video. I used Photoshop's generative fill to fill in the rest of the image and it worked out pretty decently. I had to try a few different times. It's not perfect, but I really just wanted to make a proof of concept to know that I can actually build something. One thing I wanted to have in my image is a coffee cup so that I could have like, you know, loop some steam coming out of it. And I thought I could just ask Photoshop to add in a cup and it would match the style of the drawing, but that didn't really work. I was on a time crunch here because I needed to get all of this done before my seven day free trial to Photoshop ended. I decided to get rid of the snow from the window, which was super easy. All I had to do was circle them and tell Photoshop to remove it. And then I decided to flip the image so that it better resembles the desk setup that I have here at home. For the video editing, I used my standard video editor, which is Final Cut Pro. Once I had the image in my timeline, I added the virtual effects for snow. I ended up copying it and overlaying it a bunch of times so that the snow was really noticeable. As you can see, the snow is everywhere, but I only want it to look like it's outside the window. And so to fix this, I apply a quick hacky mask so that the snow will only show up in the areas that I want it to and so far so good. To tie it all together, I found a lo-fi audio track from Epidemic Sound and this is the final result. I think it's pretty cool. I admit it's simple and basic, but I learned a lot, which is the most important part. Plus I can always add more to it as I grow and learn more skills. For lunch, gonna have a fried egg sandwich. It has egg, bacon, cheddar, and I got avocado on the side because I don't really like avocado, but my girlfriend does. Oops. And then I also got a matcha latte with almond milk. Now that I've been playing around with Gen AI, I'm actually interested in learning more about the technical side of things and maybe not as low level as relearning linear regressions, but I'm really just curious on how I could automate this whole process of what I just did. Like given an image, how can I recreate it in the lo-fi hip hop style animation? And then how can I also automate the animation of things within the image? So we can probably use AI to detect like the computer screen and maybe have things move within that little screen. We can use AI to detect fingers on the keyboard and maybe move the fingers around so that it looks like it's typing and then also play like the keyboard typing sounds at the same time. I really think that would be cool to figure out, but of course I'm sure it's very hard. Um, but maybe for a future video, if you're watching this and you have an idea of like what I can learn to do any of that, please let me know. But now it's time for the giveaway details. If you want to win the 32 inch productivity monitor from BenQ, there's only four things you have to do. Number one, you have to like this video. Number two, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number three, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at your friend in tech. Number four, leave a comment on this video sharing one goal you have for 2024 and leave your username to Instagram or TikTok, whichever one you have in the comments below because I'll be contacting the winner by DM. I'm experimenting with having these shorter vlogs in 2024. I think it might be a little bit easier to put out more content this way, but let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.